Hey everyone, Lone Wolf Jedi here, and uh, well, a uh, little bit of an update. Been doing the uh, Land of Shadows back Battleground Blitz event. I'm pretty much all done with the fight, so I got the uh, the Grail. Um, doing these right here, grinding some of the stuff because um, let's see right here. Hold up, right here. I am try I'm looking. I'm not. I'm not gonna get the I. Might look into getting these uh, hero crystal uh, four star foe, four star attack and HP foes. Um, I'm grinding for right there the reactor cores and a crown of story light. Uh, other than that, everything else is pretty much going to be. Um, let's see. Okay, I can actually do that. Get uh, get two million more QP. Um, just grind, you know, probably just grind out the, the, the lotto, because this, this is, of course, a lotto event. Like, like Nero Fast and Skaha, and, like Nero Fast and Gilfast. So, and, uh, also I'm waiting for, um, the next event to drop, which is Guda Guda. The, 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 new, the new Guda Guda event. Uh, it's gonna feature, uh, uh, Himiko. Um, which, uh, one more letter on that, uh, change, changing one of the letters in that, and uh, Lasengo will make uh, Honkai Captains play FGO, like me, cry. Speaking of which, the voice actress for Himiko, I don't remember, I don't know her name, is the same one who does Honkai Cap every Honkai Captain's favorite favorite principal, Tori Apocalypse. Um, which, you know, that's one of the reasons why I wouldn't mind uh, rolling for. But, uh, well, let me let, let me show you another thing I got. I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, let's see, Spirit Origin, and right there. Yep, I got I got Bunny Skahawk, which you know, amusing. Come on, it's Bunny Skahawk. Anyway, um, if I want to go? If I, to, if I if I was able to go full whale mode, I'd get her to MP5, but not right now. She's only she's MP2, which is fine. Um, I mean, all the MP level does increase her instant uh, her instant chances. Anyway, let's get. So that all being said, let's get back into Olympus, the Olympus um, Lost Belt, which this one is going to be a fight with Berserkers, and we're gonna get whatever's in that box. Okay, the question for me, bar. yeah, the old. It's gonna have story first, then, then, uh, then the party. You know, I thought I'd tail him for a bit to, to see where he's where he's going, but he lost me pretty quickly. Too bad. Man, turning invisible and then a rapid movement ability is a hell of a spell combo. It might not technically be teleportation, but sure feels like it. Maybe he's just he, he's using talisman Mysticos' Kristara game or something. Were you talking about Kadok just now? Well, of course. How can I not be try to run off like that? Incidentally, I tend to tell him as well. With equally dismal results. <laughs> I suppose you could have known he wouldn't make it easy that easy for us. That being said, I believe the information Kadok Zemlupus shared with us is trustworthy enough to use in determining our next course of action. After all, he would have little reason to Lido, except for personal revenge. Well, while he certainly has cause to de desire vengeance on us, taking into account his manner of speech, facial expressions, tone of voice, and what he told us, we get it, we get it. Enough of the de deduction shtick already. Basically, we have to make our way to Kastaria, just like Kodak said, right? And eventually, you guys have to cut down this tree of emptiness these insanely powerful super beings are defending. Boy, talking about playing on hard mode. This is going to be a fun challenge. Yeah, but unfortunately... I remember here, following this from... I remember hearing about this from the, from the JP version two years ago. You're not going to survive it, Musashi. Oh. So this collaborative person is good enough to be support this underground society here. I figured it'd make our lives a lot easier if I could make contact with them. But it looks like that's not happening anytime soon. So, what's our next step? Great Orwell Shrine Olympia Dodona. 
And if that enormous was floating building is acting as a God's and Christara's base of operations, then the next step should be figuring out how, to where, how we're going to get it to it. We could try to get there in the border though, through a series of zero cells, but if this Thunderbolt somehow missed us while we were pre preparing, it wouldn't take long for the other gods and soldiers to overwhelm us with sheer force of numbers. There we go. There we go. Did you just do something, Macarios? Oh, that. Oh, that? I was just defrosting something. Like frozen food or something? So, proper human history has frozen foods too, huh? I never knew that. But this isn't food, it's something way better. Solaria. We'd like to officially ask you to join the God Destroyer Alliance. We want you to come fight with us. You want to go to the Great Orwell Shrine, right? And also you need to cut down the Tree of Emptiness, Magellan. Magellan, that's... The Tree of Emptiness, Magellan, that's farther up past it, right? Then we should be able to stop to help you with both goals. We have ways of traveling through the airspace here. Furthermore, the Great Orwell Shrine is God's throne. It's forbidden for humans to set foot in there. They won't let you in without a fight. But then, you're going to fight. You're going to have to fight the gods anyway. I'd love for you two to fight with us. We will. Magellan, another galaxy mate. Though I had suspected as much. I thought Magellan was the name of, a, of, of an explorer. I mean, I remember in, 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 in well, as we consider it, proper human history. Vernon Magellan and Francis Drake, the real ones, circumnavigated the globe. We'd be honored to help you. Oh, I just had a thought. Well, why don't we take this occasion to celebrate? Ooh, by celebration, do you mean yummy food? That's right. I made a pretty simple breakfast. But for a special occasion like this, sister. Huh? Sorry to interrupt, but I need to use this thing while it's still freshly, freshly defrosted. Huh? Oh, I see. Yes, you do. D yes, you do, don't you? So no yummy food just yet? Huh. Bummer. What was it we were you were defrosting anyway? It's something you might have been seen before. Here it comes. The floor is open. And something huge coming out from underneath it. Oh ho! Huh? It looks like the hostile entities we encountered last a number of times. It's a steel chimera, an autonomous weapon made out of high purity chelonia. It used to serve the gods, but after Edison and Tesla made a number of adjustments to it, and Ms. Blavatsky casting a spell to date to tame it, it now listens to us. That's a very good job, too. Namiya, sit. As you can see, it's now this Alliance base's trusty guardian. So next up, we're going to use it to see how strong you guys are. I trust you're okay with that. Yep, figure something like this is coming. Oh, no, you don't. Where'd all that big talk from earlier go, huh? Surely you're not about to say, say your, your baritsu is no match for a little demonic beast, are you? Of course it is. I said baritsu is a highly versatile martial art, and I stand by that. But that doesn't mean easy to fight a creature like this. It isn't quite simply a pain in its posterior. <laughs> you two really get along, huh? Anyway, we can back you guys up with artillery mystic artillery mysticos. We don't know that much. We, we don't know that much when it comes to sword fighting. It's true, so we were hoping we it's true, so we could hoping we could count on all of you to handle the melee combat, if you don't mind. Hey, you'll be fine, right, Mush? I mean, you got that giant shield and everything. Mm, me? You heard him, Mush. Battle positions. Right, Master. Just um give me a few minutes, please. If you all don't mind if you all wouldn't mind. Emergency transformation complete. Setting output to 70%. Preparing an intercept combat training target. 
Okay, so I'm guessing we're getting ready to fight. Uh, hold up. Are, am I able to use... Uh, let's see here. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. We're gonna be we're gonna do it. We're gonna be doing this. Here we go. Oh. Nice. Okay. Oh. I hope this does it in one shot. I mean, it should. I mean, these, these, uh, they're, uh, their spells are level 10. Everything's level 10, so it should be okay. All right, let's get this going. Boom, boom, boom. You know, I still have yet to use this, the, these uh, these first two outfits of Castoria. But I prefer the third one. You know, third ascension. Then I'm still using the Sashi. Oh, man. Wasted him. Oh yeah, that's right. I gotta do those uh, daily quests for the uh, 30, 30, uh, 30 what you call it? I've been doing that too. So that's enough. Okay, Nemea, you can rest now. The Steel Chimera is going back into their underground storage hangar. The battle is over, Master. Whew. I never would have thought the Chimera would divide itself like that. Is it just me, Ms. Miyamoto, or were you not taking this especially seriously? Looks well, like you guys are, really are strong. You've obviously had a lot of experience fighting up close. That means you ought to be able to tow, go toe-to-toe -to -toe the Royal Guard. But it's still not enough to beat the gods. So we're going to use Tesla, Edison, and Blavatsky's parting gifts. That's right. They gave, they left us a number of machines and a few different plans of attack to use. Tell looks different. These god slaying blades are the best tools of the God Destroyer Alliance can, can offer you. Oh, no, you're hurt. Huh? Oh, this. I guess I must have gotten a bit, gotten hit when Nemea's sh shards went flying. Don't worry. I'll be fine. She's bleeding from her right arm. We have to stop it. It's okay. She'll be fine. In fact, this is a good chance to show you something. Just stand back and watch. Your injury is healing itself. It still hurts, but the wound is gone now. By tomorrow, there won't be a trace of pain left. So it's really okay. You don't have to worry. Foe? You can burn us, shatter us, tear us apart. It doesn't matter. We'll always go back to the perfect to our perfect forms. That's right. We never change, no matter what happens to us. Any injury we suffer heals itself. That's how we've been remade. Thanks to Ambrosia, the Demeter Kiranima, they re they regularly give us to regularly give us to maintain our bodies. No citizen of Olympus will ever get sick. We're practically immortal now. No one can die, no 
one can kill. The gods are the only exception. They're the only ones with the power to kill us. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry. I think I may have misheard you a moment ago. Did you just say you're practically, um, immortal? Yes, Miss Carolite. He did indeed say that. I presume that means that as long as the gods' authority remains, you and the other people of Olympus will even come back from death. That's right. Come back from death. Immortality. The one thing humanity has continued to long for since the time immortal. The ultimate god of countless technologies, not to mention magecraft. And here it's just a fact of life. So how advanced is Olympian civilization compared to ours? So every injury anyone gets automatically heals automatically? And they never even have to fear death. It's damn impressive, that's sure. I can't even imagine what it would like to be had to live like that. Bo bo. I knew the city had activated a long, healthy lie, had achieved long, healthy lies with its citizenry, but I never thought it would have ha I also found a way to bring them back from death. Never mind utopia. This seems to be poor, be more akin to heaven. Our client have idea of a blissful life after death. It almost strikes me that Calculate planned Calculate planned to forcefully evolve all of humanity into the realm of gods. Good grace, I can imagine the, the look on Qin Shi Huang's face if they are to hear about this. So if Lumis can even come back from death. Does that mean that soldier we fought is still alive? Probably. Right, not to mention it. That reserve soldier where we first fought after the alarm was sounded was. He was dead. I killed him myself. But now that you mention it, there was something. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a. Uh... Mm. I'm having an old discussion with Final Phase Gaming because uh, he was talking about the um, he saw the um, he watched the uh, I, had, I, haven't, yeah, I have yet to watch that video his I, I, okay I watched his video on um, on the regression part of the Dreamy Euphony concert and he says that um, the guy who sings regression, the guy who sings regression, is as he said one of the best uh, male performers he's ever heard. Which I'm going to agree with him. He's 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 one of the best. I mean, he's I think Final Fantasy Gaming said that he is the best. But to me, he's one of the best because I've heard a lot of others. You know. <coughs> but I would say maybe in terms of the Chinese people, Chinese performers. I will say he is the best. Although I have heard Zhou Shen, and he's pretty, he's pretty good too. Um, as for all around performers, I've I've heard some that are on the same level. Anyway, I told him that uh, that I was uh, I was watching Marco Meatballs um, vod of the live stream he did of not just a Dreamy Euphony concert, but the Starfire Sonorant concert. That was uh, about a year ago, and he said he heard of he said he heard of him. How did he say, how did how did he how does we how do we know that he's a former opera singer? I'm going to respond to that off screen. Anyway, let's go. Now that you mentioned, there was something strange about it. You ever dealt with killing blow? I don't think it was that really one. I guess him not actually dying would explain it. He didn't die. None of us can be killed here. Inflicting death is a, is a power only the gods have. By this point, that soldier will come back to life and start thinking of ways to get his revenge. While we're on the subject, I might as well tell you this too. Even if we stop taking ambrosia, like me and sister have, the Kilronomy inside our bodies will continue to function. So it'll always be like this, forever. Forever? Full? That's right. Forever. Immortality is, well, eternal. 
Ever since that day the gods bestowed Ambrosia on us eons ago, we've always looked exactly like this. Wait, is that them back then? Or that's just the random random villagers? I'm guessing that's them back then. So you don't just have eternal life, you have eternal youth, too? Alright. We've been alive for a long time. A very, very long time. We'll never reach adulthood. We both stopped growing long, long ago. The adults are all happy that we're still children. Give me a minute. So, okay. I'm leaving uh, Macarius out of this. In Adele's case, she stopped aging at a certain age. And she can heal herself. Sounds exactly like Teresa to me. Because Teresa is technically a year older than me. And I'm, oh, I'm about to hit 50. So, and she still, and she, her, Due to her being an experiment and being fused with the genes of Hong Kong Vishnu, she is her physical aging stopped at 12. That's why she looks like a young girl. And she has the power to, because of the fact that she has Vishnu's genes, she has the power to heal herself, regenerate, whatever. But I don't think she's immortal. She does, she it hasn't been so, said to where she uh, okay. In second eruption, um, <clears throat> Otto told him, told her that using the power of Otho Judas Zeroth power, using the Otho Judas Zeroth power, it negate. It's the same power of the power as, as this Herisher binding, because apparently that's what the Otho Judas come was was created from. <coughs> and the power of binding negates. Honkai. Because of the fact that Honk Vision was Honkai Beast, her regenerative powers will be. And in chapter 28, spoiler alert, she nearly killed herself. Okay, back on this. Let me read that. They say children are weak and should be protected. So you just let them, let them and the gods take care of us and be grateful for it. Never mind that we just passed adult age a long time ago. Now I see. While many Olympians may be fine with this enforced stagnation, the two of you are not. And while the gods may have succeeded in preserving happiness at the level of, society, of a society, it seems they are unable to extend their control to individual emotions. Truly fascinating. Very well. That at least makes, your, makes clear why you two have chosen to rebel against the gods that assist us. But before we go any further, there is one thing I would like to confirm with you. That's right. Fine with me. As you know, you are from we are from Chaldea, a group of beings from proper human history. Our victory there here would mean the end of this entire lost belt. Do you understand that what that means? If we succeed in cutting down this tree of emptiness, everything here, Olympus, the gods, and all the many people, and all the many people, including you two, will disappear. No exceptions. Even knowing that, do you still wish to fight by our side? Foe. Yeah, we do. We don't need, we don't need to keep living the same day ever, over and over forever. We want to see a new tomorrow. If it means we end up dying for it. Oh no. Please, don't be sad, Mosh. We spent an entire century thinking this through from every possible angle. And this is what we decided. We want to see tomorrow. A real tomorrow. A day that's different from the one that came before. Something more than just another today. We've already lived more than enough for our countless lifetimes. Do you have any idea how old I am? Um. Well, I remember everyone in Atlantis had a lifespan of at least a few hundred years. 
So I guess maybe twice that or several times. <laughs> A few hundred years, huh? The God's protection means we, me, the God's protection must have worn pretty thin for them. I'm jealous. Back to the fourth Machia, we were actually supposed to go to go to Atlantis ourselves, along with all the other people who supported the faction that want to coexist between gods and humans. But what happened was, we missed the last boat, and we'll never have another chance since the gods don't allow any of us to leave the city. Whoa, whoa, hold up! The fourth Machia was a war between the gods. Didn't that happen like several like several thousand years ago? So you guys are saying you're a, a few thousand years old? No, we're not. I'd say we've been alive for about 10,000 years. Huh? That's right. 10,000 years plus a few centuries. 10,000? Foam? We're citizens of Olympus, where the gods beloved playthings kept in their eternal cradle. Ever since the day the gods built this city, we've been stuck living here forever. That's right. For over 10,000 years, we've been forced to live millions upon millions of virgins of essentially the same day. Never getting set foot inside the city's limits never getting to grow or change for 10,000 years we've been utterly stagnant okay ah dang it I gotta oh yeah that's right daily reset Oh, young data update. Oh, it's probably that uh, back to school thing. They're, they announced a back to school campaign. Since this is normally the round time when schools get back in session. However, in where I live, my sister's grandkids started wardrobe unlocked. Okay, or next refurbished. That looked different. I'll have to take a look at it. Zane Quartz. Muscular Light Sports Spirit has been unlocked. Of course, I gotta do that. Yep, back to school campaign. They are now 17 same words. Okay, shallow remembrance. Okay. So let's go back to the beginning here. Yep, back to school campaign. All right. <clears throat> Do I have the monthly stuff already? Monoprisms. Nope. Not yet. All right. Uh. Isn't there the? Isn't there the else the much school? Yep. Thing is, I've already got MHX Alter. Uh, MP5. Mew. Okay. Don't really need to get um. Ilya, higher. I'm good with it. I'm good with that. Um, plus, I don't really like. I said, like it shows there. I don't have the same course for it. Uh, so yeah. I mean, let's let's check see what Spirit Origin. Okay, there's Mosh. Oh. Wait. 
do I have to do I have to actually unlock it like I've had to unlock other ones? Okay. Okay, yeah, I don't do a lot. Wait. Let me double check here. Okay, it's all unlocked. It's fine. Or next refurbished. Let's, uh... Let's, uh, check it out. Actually, can do it quicker in the uh, in the room. Uh, material, spirit origin. There we go. Oops. Okay, there's the Ortnex. Ortnex refurbished. What's what's the difference besides? What's so the difference between her and the visor on or off? Honestly. Or next refurbished. Okay, so basically it's the it's the visor off. All right. Okay. Well, that'll be it on this video. Sorry, it's a long one. Uh, talk about um, uh, comparisons between FGO and Honkai. That's basically what I've been doing a lot lately. So until next time, this is Lil Jenna saying thank you all for watching. Take care of yourselves. Uh, who's Bleaker's film? Bleaker? I don't know.